to float and it's going to be the total convert so we have this here the total convert okay now let's do the result display time dot set text that's the trading time and then it's going to say current trade day and then we're going to do the match find that group one the first group of the result that's basically it we have the whole application here and uh, let's test it and see how it runs click run we have this here we have the list here we have the list here you could pre-select stuff let's just put a bad number see so give us a valid amount let's just put five let's choose euros how much are they in Swiss franc and we click convert right now it's gonna go to enable to connect so there's a problem with the connection let's just go back and double check what's wrong we have the URL oh my mistake it's uh, BC it's not B it was BV but it's actually BC so uh, let me see finance.yahoo.com Q yeah let's run it again and check make sure it's okay five euros to Swiss francs unable to connect let me just copy the URL from my uh, URL just to make sure that everything is actually correct and that uh, we have there the uh, information cur from code and the cur to code it should mean okay we have the URL we read an read the page and then the page out open stream string input line while input line is it's not no results we add the results to the input line we close it yeah it should be uh, fine let's probably made a mistake let's check if it's euros US Swiss francs yeah it's unable to convert so let's just see what's wrong with it okay sorry I had to take a second um, there was a problem actually with the uh, regular expression the pattern in a way it's been fixed so uh, now basically this is the code that we have um, we had the import stuff that we needed we basically had to check the current amount text we got the values we got the uh, codes we constructed the uh, Yahoo URL we uh, read the whole page we uh, matched the uh, the rate we matched the uh, date and we basically wrote it down to the screen so if you want it, it should work now so let's just do five euros let's say to Swiss francs convert it tells you that it's November 12 which is two days ago and the rate is 6.71 so 5 euros equals 6.71 francs you could do other stuff to this form make it look nicer probably make sure the uh, you know there's always one selected because right now if you just run the form and you run it it's gonna be an error because exception because nothing is selected here so you could just go here for example and have the selected index being at the uh, you could go to the option where it says selected selected value or selected index you could just put one and here you could just put one this will avoid this problem so no matter what how they run it there's there are no errors here if they convert it converts so he, he won't be able to convert so anyway we have the um, it's completed and uh, 
this is the first Java application we worked on. Thank you for listening.